Hey, so good to see you again. I want to bring you tip number two. This is two of 13 construction estimating tips, two of 13. Uh, number, number two, I want to say beware. Beware of unit cost estimating guides. Beware of unit cost estimating guides. Now, some of you may say, what the hell is a unit cost estimating guide? A unit cost estimating guide is something similar um, to a, uh, a, a reference guide, a reference guide that gives you um, a cost of a, uh, of, of a particular scope of work. Let's say RS means, right? Or let's say, uh, I think there's another book out there called uh, the, the, the Red Book. I think it's called the Red Book. I was getting ready to say the Little Red Book. I think that's a sales book I read one time. But I think it's called the Red Book. And basically what it, what it, what it states here is that for simple type of event installations, uh, maybe a, a ceiling fan installation is going to cost X amount of dollars. For concrete patio, it's going to cost S X amount of dollars. Um, for a, uh, you know, to paint this room, it's going to cost X amount of dollars. That's a unit cost guide that basically tells you that for this room, and you, what I would like to do is I like to come up with my own guides for, for my type of work right what what my guys get paid the production rate my guys can work at um, 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 you know I want to factor in uh, uh, my vehicle costs and things like that but you know uh, uh, there's a lot of contractors out there that uh, use unit cost estimating guys I find I, I found it difficult for me to use them because there's so many variables on the projects that I was working on. Um, you know, I had, you know, may, I may have had day and night crews. I may have had uh, uh, different uh, materials we need to install uh, uh, in one particular location. Uh, maybe I was using two different type of uh, concrete products and things like that. Or I may be, have to use different types of tools to apply the same product in different areas. So uh, those S those unit cost estimating guys was never really helpful for me, but I, I and you guys will see as you have your own estimating system, uh, you will plug that in um, mainly so it can be a lot easier as you continue to estimate more and more projects. Uh, you'll come up with, you know, uh, crews, you know, three-man crews, four-man crews, uh, uh, small, medium, large-size crews, and you're adding the different things to those uh, small, large-size, medium crews as you feel fit, depending on the type of work that you do or the industry that you're in. But you want to be aware of those unit costs, estimating guys, because they will not fit every job that you do, especially if you're doing large-type work or uh, a work with. Um, with uh, various types of phases and, and, and levels, things like that. Um, um, now you can use it for you know simple applications like I explained before, and uh, and maybe you can you know break it down and, and kind of piece it out for maybe even some for some above um, you know above average type projects um, for what your crews are normally doing. So you can kind of break it down, which I find is a little difficult, but I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying, hey, for tip number two, you do want to be aware of those uh, unit cost estimating guys, and they're just not for every single project that you may have to bid on uh, that you guys are going to be doing, okay? Hope you enjoyed tip number two, two of 13. We got more to come. Stay tuned. Make sure you like this video. Go ahead, like the video. Go ahead. And it does encourage us to make more and more videos to, um, to, to bring you guys more and more content. To bring you guys more and more content. Um, and, and subscribe. we got more to come. We're also going to be coming out with uh, CESS TV. That's C-E-S-S. -S, Construction Entrepreneur School and Services TV. Uh, we're going to get some interviews going here with some other uh, construction business owners, uh, some local ones, some ones that are out of state as well, 
and uh, you know just bring this thing full circle for you so you can get so much value out of uh, this channel here so tip number two see you on the next one thanks